The swishing releases the carbon dioxide from the soda. He's enjoying his dessert on a chemical level. Klaus, I don't care about that. Haley, get off your calculator and learn something about flavor, please. It's important. Why are the signs all in Chinese? Oh, it's because I'm in communist China. Are you saying I'm going to walk to China? I'm saying this becomes China. Come on, dude. You knew what he meant. I'm putting my foot down. No more texting in the Smith family. That's it. Done. That's insane. Yeah, there's no way Francine lets that fly, Stan. Okay, then I forbid you to text and drive. Yeah, that's actually smart. Weddings, oh, they're coming to me now. And charity events and work functions and during the national anthem and the in memoriam part of the Oscars. Whew. There. Just put my foot down hard on texting. Klaus, read that back to me. <clears throat> I didn't have a pen. I'm sorry. Ah, damn it. But I remember them. I, I remember all of them, I swear. All right, well, don't forget and just write it all down when we get home. Life just hit someone in the gonads. No, I, I don't get it, Roger. I've been acing my practice tests at school, then flunking the real tests. Why is this happening to me? Sounds like you got the yips. The what? The yips. You're choking under pressure. It's the type of thing that can ruin your life, amigo. Whoa. How can I fix it? You can't. Oh, my God! <laughs> Kidding, bud. Uh, what do you want to see? I want to see perfection. <laughs> that narrows it down. All right, how about a two-and-a-half tuck reverse? Do it. Do it now. Pool in front of the entire neighborhood. Oh, so this was a practice test. There's always a method to my madness, Steve. Now watch this. <laughs> I just do the dive. I don't mess with the water. Stove top popcorn, and I say, sir, if you're that pressed for time, maybe you should buy the microwave popcorn. Well, the checkout lady takes her microphone thing and goes, major burn on register one, and she immediately gets fired. Turns out she had a history of playing with the microphone. Hello? Oh, my God. Have I not been talking to anyone? I did the German side in purple as a little incentive to learn German. Wish me luck, everybody. I'm going on my first business trip. Jeff got a job field testing products. I work for a company. Well, I guess if Jeff can figure out how to use a product, anyone can. Thanks, Mr. S. One day, I will insult you in a way you can understand. Okay. Enjoy that job until your first drug test. Hey, shit now, Stan. I swear, it's all the texting. I don't know. I use texting all the time. Yeah, it's a great way to cut to the heart of a conversation without all the chit-chat. Texting just doesn't jive with my sense of humor. I have a really dry wit, like bone dry. It's all about nuance with me. Deadly timing. You can't get that in a text. Actually, emoticons are a great way to get those subtleties. Here, I'll show you. It's like he's saying, um, chick, please. That's one of my go-tos. <laughs> oh, my God! That's texting? That was real, you guys. I noticed the phone service is back on. Huh? Oh, yeah. But don't think for a second that means you can break my texting rules. I'm watching you like a hawk. Really? How many fingers am I holding up? You're holding up one finger, and it's the middle one. Damn, that would have been better. Hold on a minute, Stan. If you're texting now... Or, oh, come on, don't be like that. I will. I will be like that. And send. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, there's a Klaus. And you want more. And so I had a seizure. A seizure? You've never had seizures before? I'm gonna bring in our seizure expert to run some tests. Make sure that's what it was. You paged me? This man claims he had a seizure. We just need your expert opinion, one of the side effects. Well, maybe it should be. I could use a break. I'm just getting railed. 
Okay, I got you a day pass. It was 20 bucks, so we're stealing towels. We're also stealing chlorine, but that was already gonna happen. Only two types of people wear Speedos to the public pool. Great athletes and perverts. Which one are you? Seizure my ass. Beg pardon? You didn't have a seizure when you crashed. You were probably texting someone a picture of your balls or something. It seems my precious rules are safe for another day, Klaus. Hmm. And now it's your turn to obey me. You have to take these meds. No more close calls like that. Possible side effects include memory loss, chalky genitals, hallucinations, underbite, unibrow, swamp palm, Daniel calf. Could have used the accident to prove your point to Haley that texting and driving is bad. <laughs> and what happens when she finds out you've been texting? Not gonna happen, because I am done with all that. Just let me send this last one. Send. Ah, damn autocorrect. But don't get psyched out. Just nail the dive and show these jerks you've got ice in your veins. Okay. And who knows? Maybe they won't even notice me. Everybody look at this dipshit! What's the matter, kid? Didn't want to pay for the whole tan? <laughs> <sighs> Swamp palm. Damn medication. I'm back from my trip, Mr. S. Oh, sick unibrow, bro. The hair is just a little side effect of the seizure medication. I drove over 40 miles on my business trip, and that's gonna be it for me for a while. By the way, I didn't really understand your text. Because that person's not my mom. That went through? Even with a crash? Wait, Mr. S, were you texting and driving? What? No! Why would you say that? Because you sent me this video right after. <sighs> Texting and driving. It's a cautionary tale. I hate to say I told you so, but... <laughs> you were right, Dad. You were right. There, there. I told you so. There, there. Me neither. I'm staying right here, day and night. We should probably get some magazines, though. Oh, yeah. And I need, need, need a hot dog. As for you, a traumatic event like this can increase the risk of seizures. I'm gonna up your medication as a precaution. Oh, that's not necessary. <laughs> hey, buddy. Who are you? I'm Daniel Calf. I'm a side effect. Oh, right, of course. Uh, please excuse me. Today has been absolutely nuts. <laughs> please, I get it. So listen, if Jeff comes out of that coma, he's gonna tell everybody that you were the one texting and driving. He could ruin everything. What do I do about that? You gotta kill him, Chief. Okay. About the mainframe. The main what now? The mainframe. It's where your cell phone provider keeps all the texts you've ever sent. As long as that mainframe exists, someone could find out the truth. Well, so what do I have to do? My head's a bit fuzzy from the shot. Look, there's only two words you need to remember. Destroy mainframe. No problem. Destroy man. Oh, almost. Now let go of your motor skills. Really focus. Ah! Yeah, you're doing it. Show us your balls! What he said! I can get behind that. You've nailed this dive a million times. <coughs> He's okay! The pervert is okay! Destroy mainframe! Mainframe! Sir, the mainframe's not actually in the store. We don't even have a bathroom. She's lying. She works for the mainframe. Ah, you found our push-to-talk phone. Cellular range, walkie-talkie convenience. Yeah! Mainframe. Dad, Jeff's awake. Wow. He's out of his coma. No! <laughs> Bailey! I'm... I'm... I'm so, I'm so sorry. Oh, God, what have I done? <sighs> her organs are being held inside her body by the car. When the car moves, she'll lose them. 
That means she's only got 17 months to live. Because that's when my lease is up. Haley, this is all my fault. I was the one who was texting and driving. I'll pull him out of it. Wait, let's leave it for a while. <laughs> Thanks for trying to help me, Roger. I guess there's nothing we can do about my performance anxiety. Wait, did you learn nothing from that whole experience? Yeah, I crack under pressure. Buddy, you just missed the whole point of my lesson. There is no pressure. You think if they did, they'd go to a place like that? Why would they? That place sucks! And do you think if you flunk some biology test at school, they're gonna take your pool away from you? No! I guess they won't! No way! You can flunk every test forever and you still get to come back here. To a house with a pool. Oh my god! I have a pool! I take solace in the fact that her life was not lived in vain. I, Stan Smith, solemnly vow to carry myself as she did with integrity, dignity, and grace.